Today we are going to discuss about hydroxychloroquine, the drug that discussed worldwide recently. Hydroxychloroquine is a quinoline medicine used to treat or prevent malaria, a disease caused by parasites that enter the body through the bite of a mosquito. Malaria is common in areas such as Africa, South America, and Southern Asia. This medicine is not effective against all strains of malaria. Hydroxychloroquine in COVID-19 There is no strong scientific evidence to support the use of hydroxychloroquine for preventing or treating coronavirus disease. While its use is not approved by the FDA for COVID-19 treatment, as of April 2020, there is an emergency use authorization for its use, and it has been used off-label for potential treatment of the disease. On April 24, 2020, citing the risk of serious heart rhythm problems, the FDA posted a caution against using the drug for COVID-19 outside of the hospital setting or a clinical trial. In the U.S., in March 2020, Several state pharmacy boards reported that some doctors and dentists were writing prescriptions for hydroxychloroquine and a related drug, chloroquine, to themselves, family members, and staff. Sudden demand spikes caused by hospital use for severely ill COVID-19 patients and prescriptions for prophylaxis have resulted in shortages. On May 18, 2020, Trump publicly stated that he was taking hydroxychloroquine combined with zinc and an initial dose of azithromycin during the COVID-19 pandemic. Based on the results of a study published in The Lancet, which was retracted on June 4, 2020, the World Health Organization suspended hydroxychloroquine from its global drug trials for COVID-19 treatments on May 26, 2020, due to safety concerns in that study. On June 3, 2020, the WHO announced it would resume its global trial of hydroxychloroquine, after its Data Safety Monitoring Committee found there was no increased risk of death for COVID-19 patients taking it. On June 5, 2020, Peter Horby, Professor of Emerging Infectious Diseases and Global Health in the Nuffield Department of Medicine, University of Oxford and chief investigator for a randomized trial on hydroxychloroquine, said, the recovery trial has shown that hydroxychloroquine is not an effective treatment in patients hospitalized with COVID-19. Pharmacokinetics Hydroxychloroquine has similar pharmacokinetics to chloroquine, with rapid gastrointestinal absorption, large distribution volume, and elimination by the kidneys. Cytochrome P450 enzymes metabolize hydroxychloroquine to N-dicethyl hydroxychloroquine. Bioavailability, variable, 74% on average. Protein binding, 45%. Metabolism, in liver. Excretion, mostly kidney, 23-25% as unchanged drug, also biliary less than 10%. Mechanism of action. As with other quinoline antimalarial drugs, the antimalarial mechanism of action of quinine has not been fully resolved. The most accepted model is based on hydrochloroquine and involves the inhibition of hemazone biocrystallization, which facilitates the aggregation of cytotoxic heme. Free cytotoxic heme accumulates in the parasites, causing death. Hydroxychloroquine increases the risk of low blood sugar through several mechanisms. These include decreased clearance of the hormone insulin from the blood, increased insulin sensitivity, and increased release of insulin from the pancreas. Medicinal use Hydroxychloroquine treats rheumatic disorders such as systemic lupus erythematosus, rheumatoid arthritis, and porphyria cutanea tarda, and certain infections such as Q fever. It is considered the first-line treatment for systemic lupus erythematosus and certain types of malaria. It is widely used to treat primary Sjogren syndrome but does not appear to be effective. Contraindications The drug label advises that hydroxychloroquine should not be prescribed to individuals with known hypersensitivity to foraminoquinoline compounds. There are several other contraindications and caution is required if the person considered for treatment has certain heart conditions, diabetes, or psoriasis. 
Adverse Effects of Hydroxychloroquine The most common adverse effects include Nausea Stomach cramps, and Diarrhea Most serious adverse effects affect the eye, with dose-related retinopathy as a concern even after hydroxychloroquine use is discontinued. Serious reported neuropsychiatric adverse effects of hydroxychloroquine use include agitation, mania, difficulty sleeping, hallucinations, psychosis, catatonia, paranoia, depression, and suicidal thoughts. In rare situations, hydroxychloroquine has been implicated in cases of serious skin reactions such as Stevens-Johnson syndrome, toxic epidermal necrolysis and drug reaction with eosinophilia and systemic symptoms. Drug Interactions The drug transfers into breast milk. There is no evidence that its use during pregnancy is harmful to the developing fetus and its use is not contraindicated in pregnancy. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration's drug label for hydroxychloroquine lists the following drug interactions. First one, digoxin wherein it may result in increased serum digoxin levels. Insulin or anti-diabetic medication, wherein it may enhance the effects of a hypoglycemic treatment. Anti-epileptics, concurrent use may impair the anti-epileptic activity. Methotrexate, combined use is unstudied and may increase the frequency of side effects. Cyclosporin, wherein an increased plasma cyclosporin level was reported when used together. Drugs that prolong QT interval and other arrhythmogenic drugs. Mefloquine and other drugs known to lower the seizure threshold. Hydroxychloroquine dosing information. Usual adult dose for malaria prophylaxis. 400 mg salt orally once a week. Weight-based dosing, 6.5 mg per kilogram salt orally once a week. Maximum dose. 400 mg salt per dose. Comments This drug should be administered on the same day of each week. Suppressive therapy should begin two weeks prior to exposure and should continue for four weeks after leaving the endemic area. Usual adult dose for malaria. 800 mg salt orally as an initial dose, followed by 400 mg salt at 6, 24 and 48 hours after the initial dose. Total dose, 2000 mg. Weight-based dosing first dose, 13 mg slash kg salt orally. Second dose, 6 hours after first dose, 6.5 mg slash kg. Third dose, 24 hours after first dose, 6.5 mg slash kg. Fourth dose, 48 hours after first dose, 6.5 mg slash kg. Maximum dose first dose, 800 mg salt, dose second, third, and fourth dose, 400 mg. Second, third, and fourth dose, 400 mg. Important information. Hydroxychloroquine is a quinyl in medicine used to treat or prevent malaria a disease caused by parasites that enter the body through the bite of a mosquito. Hydroxychloroquine has not been approved to treat coronavirus or COVID-19. It is not yet known if hydroxychloroquine is an effective treatment for COVID-19. The FDA has authorized emergency use of hydroxychloroquine only in people with COVID-19 who are in a hospital or enrolled in a clinical trial. You must remain under the care of a doctor while you are using hydroxychloroquine for COVID-19. Do not buy hydroxychloroquine from an online pharmacy or use the medicine without a prescription from your own doctor. Taking hydroxychloroquine long-term or at high doses may cause irreversible damage to the retina of your eye that could progress to permanent vision problems. So, that's for today. Leave your dots in comment box. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.